So there's another way of putting the drawings that you did in, from Rhino into AutoCAD. Um, if you open up a new tab, which is right next to the old tab, let me close that out again. Right next to this tab right here, uh, we have a little plus symbol that says new drawing. We could put that on, okay, and that <laughs> units and stuff I don't think has been set up. So just set up as architectural and that should be fine. Uh, limits, um, you know, 100 feet, comma, 100 feet for now would be enough. And then what we're going to do is to import the, the drawing that we did from Rhino. So one of the way is to, if you had the menu bar showing, you can go ahead and go to File, Import, okay? Either that or just type in Import and Enter, well, in the command prompt. And a dialog box will pop up that says Import File. What we're going to do is to look for that, that file that we made in Rhino. Okay, so go to wherever you kept your wherever you kept your subtraction cube and the file type if you could find the Rhino 3DM select that and all your Rhino files would pop up. Okay? Okay, so find the, find the file that you made in Rhino of Make2D, that was just a vector line drawing, and select that and say Open. Okay, your import job is processing in the background. So, um, so what we're going to do is to, this is a part that we, that we really have to pay attention because I kind of always forget. So when we say Close, right down here is this blinking little icon, right? And then right here it says import file process complete. And when we're ready, just click on that link. Okay. So when you zoom out of your surrounding, because mine was so set in so close that I couldn't see it, it is right there. Okay, and again, the drawings and stuff, it is in the, in this other layers and stuff. What we want to do for now is to select everything and turn the properties into um, the layer as zero and stuff. The reason we ask you to do this is that right here, if before we do it in the property, if we check the color, it says 250, correct? 250 on the big scheme of things uh, basically is this really really light light gray and it will it will look like it's not printing when we you know it, it won't show so that's why we we'll kind of want to turn it into something that will show into the standard colors of AutoCAD so first thing if we turn everything into the zero layer okay and then turn the color into by layer you should turn something into that visible thing. And then just check the line width by layer and the line type by layer so that everything is backed, backed into the AutoCAD's uh, reference. Okay, So there we have two drawings that are the same thing that's made one um, through the export method and then, and then just opening it up in AutoCAD and the other has just been imported, you know, importing just your Rhino drawing um, from Rhino itself. The difference between the two, um, when you make 2D and export and open the file, um, some of the lines may or may not come in exactly the way you had drawn it, especially if it's like a curve or something. Okay, if you use the import method, 
that seems to that seems to take care of a lot of the problems in that. So again, depending on the file, this one doesn't very much matter because it is just a straight line drawing. But if you have curves and lots of wiggles and stuff, you might just want to import it. Um, to be safe, you might just want to import directly from Rhino. Okay?